Hey guys, what's up? Back in Satisfactory here at Skippy0330. Last episode, we did our steel factory and we have a whole bunch of steel stuff getting stocked up. We worked on our structural frames and those, by the way, guys, are going really well. I'm going to walk you through, guys. I let the game run for about five hours. I came here in here and there, made some changes. I have now moved our concrete storage over here. And this is permanent concrete now. And the other one, I just feed in right straight into the ticket machine. So that's pretty much the only changes I've made up here. We are doing really well on supplies. As you can see, I've been coming over here and taking from them. No big deal. This should... Oh, this is nice. This is full already. Our pipes are completely full. All right. I'll see you guys back down at the... I don't even know what we're going to call this other place because this is all going to get torn down at some point. Anyway, I've gone ahead and added a second floor to this place here because we have to make those wiring loom. I was calling them computers last episode. For that, I do apologize. Those are actually wiring looms. And we're going to need a decent amount of space to do that. So if I have to expand out over top of the other factory, we will do that. Now we're making multiple, uh, multiple floors of factories, which I absolutely love. So over here, as you guys know, we have been making the versatile framework. Here we go. So what I keep doing is coming over here just to cheat my way through the quick stuff and throwing what I have in my inventory of modular frames because we're making them at our storage facility and steel beams in here. It takes a lot of steel beams to make these things, by the way. So in that amount of time, we've managed, managed to store this much versatile framework. I think we actually only need... 20 or not oh 10 more 10 more to get 500 of these and then we can start feeding them directly into this awesome sink right here by the way we have 15 coupons now we're doing really really well uh we are good on smart plates for our storage so i've uh, moved that into our awesome sink and pretty soon this will be going into our awesome sink as well so we'll be ready pretty soon to go and unlock a crazy amount of stuff. We've gone from doing this from 90 per minute to 820 points a minute, which is absolutely insane. Now, uh, I have also diverted, if we go over to our storage factory, we are full up on plates. So in the meantime, instead of stopping production, what I've done is I've actually diverted it into our other awesome sink that's sitting over here. So not only are we pumping these into it full time, we are also pumping plates into it full time. So that stuff really adds up, right? From 99 to 820 just by doing those three different things, which is pretty damn sick. So now I really want to get phase two of the space elevator done this episode. So we are going to go full tilt here on our wiring loom factory and we are going to go for two wiring looms per minute which is actually going to take up quite a bit of machinery so i'm going to have to make <laughs> this is kind of cool this is the top of the uh uh the awesome sink i keep forgetting what this damn thing is called can we hit it from up here oh we can <laughs> that's funny so we're going to start over here but we need copper we need steel and uh, a good handful of machines. I think it's uh, between 12 and 15 machines we're going to need to do this. So I'm going to bring up a second line over on top of here. What I'm going to do is just cheese it, split off those lines over here, bring up a line over here, and then we'll split off the copper over there and then bring it up here. Now, the other thing I should look at doing is also increasing our coal load, be, uh, or like as in upgrading the line and upgrading the miners that we're on because we can now make Mark II or Mark III miners. I do believe it's Mark II miners, but we can get this upgraded too. I don't think we'll really, I, I don't think we really have to. We'll start everything running and then upgrade it as we need to. I'd rather get this factory up and going because if we make two per minute, once it's running, it'll only take 50 minutes to complete phase two from there. Well, that took a little bit of work, but now I have three lines coming in here. I have my coal, I have my iron, and I have my copper. We haven't used copper in a long time here. So, of course, I just split it off from over there. It looks a little spaghetti style, but whatever. Like I said, this is all going to come down, and we're going to build some majestic stuff once we get everything unlocked here. For now, I'm just practicing, kind of figuring out my style. My style's changed, too, even since I've started playing this season here. I'm starting to keep these things higher now. That way, if I want to drive a vehicle through at some point, 
I won't have trouble because all of the lines are high enough I can get up underneath them. And even in my factories here, I'm starting my lines one high or one up. That way I can run under them real easy. Okay, so we need to make ourselves a crap load of wires to make cables here. We need a total of 96 wires per minute, which is going to be quite a bit. So we're going to need two smelters just for copper ingots. We're going to have to split up the production between both of them. And we're going to need four constructors just for the wires to keep up with all of this. So I had to come over to our storage facility here to grab myself some cables. And I noticed that our copper sheets were full. So why not have all of the extra and uh, continuing extra go into our awesome sink here? Look at that. We're at 16 coupons. I do believe we have two stored back at our base. And yeah, we're looking pretty damn awesome. I can't wait to start spending those things. Uh, but for now... We're almost, uh, well, we're a good portion of the plant done. I'll show you guys. So we got ourselves at the end here, some cables coming out. I think I set the other machine correctly. Let's check this one here. Each one should be set at 70% to have a good efficiency. Okay, awesome. Good to go. So this was a lot of machinery just for the copper portion of it, but I was able to actually lay it down here in a pretty satisfactory way. And it sounds like my dog's getting himself readjusted and comfortable. Don't mind some background noises if you do hear them. Let's get up a little bit higher here. And check it out. Cool. So we have four constructors in the front here. These are all making wires for us. And those two bad boys in the back are making our cables. So from here, we need to start making some of our steel stuff. So I got to get a foundry going. I got to make a steel pipe. And then from there, from the steel pipe and the uh, it goes, it's going to go into an assembler. It's going to make our stators. And we're going to need to steal some wires off of the end of this production over here to make the stators. And then we're going to have to put another assembler, which is going to take the cables and the stators and make our final product, which is the automated wiring. That's what it's called. Automated wiring. Holy crap. On the third, oh, third try is a charm, right? Here we are guys, automated wiring. We are gonna clock that down to 80% to bring us to two per minute and the machine is filling up for us. So this time I just powered everything as I went that way we wouldn't have to wait forever for this thing to get up and going, but we should be producing our first one here any second. And there we go, look at our perfect. Okay, so now we gotta actually move these out of here and get these into uh, some sort of storage container. Like a giant one, perhaps. Yes, we have an industrial storage container now. It has 48 slots, and all we need is some steel materials, which we have tons and tons of now because we've been patient and waited forever. So let's get this hooked up. There we go. Awesome, and now, oh, look at that. The first one went down the line as soon as we placed down the storage. Ah, that is satisfying. So within 50 minutes, 5-0, we should have what we need here to get our phase two space elevator done. That's very, very exciting. So in the meantime here, I know for a fact our smart plates are done. We should grab some of those. I got to build a storage here and dump my stuff and we'll go over with an empty inventory. And yeah, we have, uh, we definitely have enough versatile framework too. So we will take the storage off of that, divert it into here, and then take a look at maybe spending some of those coupons. We have a total of 19 now. Okay, here we go. So we got 500 smart plating, we got 500 versatile framework, and we had some versatile framework left over here. So I'm gonna just take the conveyor belt from the storage unit here. Oh my God, look at that. We are out of iron plates. Okay, so we'll go with the next better one. We are out of reinforced iron plates. Do we have? We don't have steel beams. Oh, guys. Guys. I'm having a moment here. Let's get that fixed. Here we go. Some spaghetti right into there. And somehow I managed to go around everything with my spaghetti. But this should be some ticket madness here once these things start pumping in. 
I think these things are worth quite a bit in the awesome sink. All right, here we go. We got smart plate. Oh, wow, look at those jumps. 17, 20, 23, 26. Wow, 3% per. I think that's going. That's insane. I can't even tell what's going on right now. That's just uh, wild. So maybe 2 point something percent per. Holy crap, that is going to jack our tickets right up. Okay, awesome. I'm going to let these flow. We're going to run over to our space elevator over here and dump our goodies off in the chest so they can get loaded up in there. And then we just have to wait out the wiring. Uh, oh my god, I forgot the name of it. We'll just call it wiring for now. Okay, here we go. Actually, we can just put store all. Bam. Oh, no, nope, I want to take these back here. Don't be taking that down the line. Oh, did that jam? Oh, no. Uh, whoops. <laughs> okay, so there's only one way to fix this. Just like that. There we go. We can put some new line in there. Oh, no. Did I not bring enough to build the line? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. There we go. Whew. Well, that was silly. Let's go ahead and store those 10 smart plating back in there. Leave the rest of the stuff in our inventory. All right, look at that stuff just piling in through the line. Okay, well, that's going to take a little while itself to go through. So in the meantime here, we're waiting for the uh, advanced wiring, I think it's called. What we should do is build, ooh, hyper tubes. It's time to have fun with some hyper tubes. Let's build a hyper tube system to get us all the way up to where our coal production is. And then what we'll do is we'll upgrade our coal system. So our coal is coming in faster with more. So our general supplies are pretty good. Our stackable hyper tube support, of course, is made with our basics. Hyper tube support is basics. Uh, now the hyper tube entrance does take some reinforced uh, beams here, but that's not too big of a deal. We have a ton of those in our steel plant, and it looks like we'll be easily able to afford all of this. So you know what? We are just going to put our hyper tube support. Yeah, we're going to put it up a little high so I don't accidentally get sucked in as I'm going by, and we can build it from here. This is going to be real easy. Look at that. Just tubes and some copper sheets. We have lots of both of those. Can we reach up there from here? Uh, no. So it looks like I'll have to go the long way up. Okay, here we are now. Isn't that a dazzling ride? Do these things have to be powered? Just the hyper tube? No, I don't think it does. Just the uh, just the main line here, which isn't hard when we jump down there. We'll click it to here. Oh, isn't that a hyper tube entrance? Does it not need to be powered? Am I doing this wrong? I don't see any wind or anything coming out of it. Hmm. Let's go down and test this out. Can I run down this damn thing? Whoa. Whew. Almost fell off. Okay, let's uh, let's try that again. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Yeah, look at that. We can run down it. Nice. Okay, now why will you not hooked up? Floor is too steep. Do these things not need to be powered anymore? Do I have to look up how to use hyper tubes? Oh, maybe that's... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> there we go. You have to put the entrance on to the support. Yeah, I almost had to look it up, guys. It, it's been that long. Okay, there we go. So, uh, let's ride it up and hopefully it doesn't shoot me off the other side of that, uh, that platform over there. Oh, I've missed hyper tubes. These things are awesome go and out so right here i think would be another good spot for a quote unquote hyper tube entrance get some more uh speed going for us is that how that works i think that's how that works that does look like it's going the wrong way though May maybe not maybe they've changed that So I want to get this hyper tube as far and as high as possible. How far can we go with these here? Uh, it is too long. Okay, so I'm going to click here. Oh, no. Not what I wanted. I actually wanted to go up higher. So uh, let's try that again. Here we go. Bring it as far as we can go without clicking twice. I'm going to try to get it a little bit higher here as we go along. 
Now it does coming down this way. I actually haven't looked down this way at all. I've seen a. Uh, I've looked down it a lot, but I never noticed. Look at this, guys. There is a yellow slug right at the ledge out there, and there is some poison, but we might be able to uh, avoid that. That would be pretty damn cool. So let's build ourselves a little bit of a ladder here. Too bad you couldn't get ladders to clip to the landscape. That would be crazy handy. But, I mean, it's not hard to go and see, okay, well, you know, that's a, that's a little far off. So let's pull it in here a little bit. Uh, that's a little dangerous. Yeah, it's a little, little too close. So let's go right here. And then go up. I think I think that's good right there. Okay, let's see if we can get this yellow slug without dying. Oops, I fell off and I was hit by something too. Not quite sure what I was hit by. But there's an enemy up there. Uh, I'm going to try that one more time. Maybe this is what's going to button hook me here is having an enemy over there somewhere. Okay, so I was climbing up this way. And oh, it's those damn bees or little horned things. That's what's going on. Hmm... I wonder if I can get up there fast enough. Let's put a platform down right there. Then get on that platform. We can do this, guys. We can do this. Oh, not enough space. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. oh, somehow I didn't take any damage falling down. Guys, I'd even have enough space to get that if I wanted to. But you know what? I think that's doable if we go up with full health, which we don't have at the moment. And we have a full inventory, so we'll put that on the to-do list. So that took a little while, but a landing platform achieved. I put it at a level here lower with a ladder to climb up and a super shoot to land if I, uh, you know, go a little off course. Now, I don't know if there's going to be enough power to get us up here. Look at this wonky spaghetti system. I love it. But this part here is just absolutely crazy. We may have to add to the launcher at the end. What I believe you do is add entrances close to each other, and then they keep firing you faster through the system. So I'll have to look that up. Anyway, this is my fur. Oh, okay. Well, we're going. My first test run here. Holy crap. Do you ever get some speed going down like that? We're going to be home in no time. Oh, this is so much quicker. That was really, really worth my time. 100% and boop, we're back. Okay, that was cool. Let's see. Let's try Let's try going back now. Let's see if we can make it all the way up there. Oh, we can, guys. I think we can. I think we can. Almost 90 degrees all the way up and out. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. That is so much fun. All right, a much better way than doing it by foot. So let's take a look here and see how many we have made. Holy crap, guys, we are at 59. Oh, make that 60 automated wire already. So I do think staters are something we can make by hand fairly easily. So what I think I'm going to do is just cheat our way through 100 by putting more staters in here. And I think the cable should be able to keep up. If not, we have some in our inventory too, so what I'll do is jack this up to 100% and let it go crazy. Alright, so I shoved a stack of stators in there, so we should be good to go here. Looks like these are going quite quickly, so it won't take long to stack those up. But in the meantime, it is a good opportunity to start upgrading our coal lines coming in, so that we can produce more steel stuff more reliably as well. Oh, yeah, look at that. The coal's hurting. So let's follow the line here. I do believe it's right around the corner. There we go. That is our old miner. And just a double check here. Forgetting stuff's not too big of a deal now because I can run back real easy. Or fly back literally through a tube. Anyway, we do have more than enough to do this. So let's go ahead and take out the Mark 1 miner. Switch that out for a Mark 2 here. This is going to produce a lot more for us. Let's power that up. Let it spin up. We'll get rid of this line here because that's the old stuff. And now we will actually upgrade to the highest tier line here, the Mark III. Now, I just realized this episode that you can press the E button and go through the different uh, the different belts, like the different tiers of stuff. That is, that is a nice addition. Sick. 
All right, well, I'm going to start upgrading this line from here all the way back. There we go. So now all of our main line of coal is all Mark III, so it's moving along quite quickly, as you can see. And we have a Mark II miner up above, so we should be good to go on that front. Now, let's go and check and see how many of those wiring things we have, the advanced wiring. I need to get that done this episode oh we're sitting at only seven left needed or seven needed seven left needed that made sense right so what i'm going to do is take what we have over to the space tower and start getting that in because it does take a little while or the space elevator it does take a little while for that stuff to get fed into it uh, but the cool thing is is you can actually see it live in real time up in the corner so if you actually made a proper factory feeding into the space elevator you'd be able to see a lifetime update of how close you are to completing it all right let's drop these bad boys in there nothing else but i hate it when i do that clog up the line with one item that's not supposed to be in there and as you can see as these go into the space elevator you can actually see the count go <laughs> that's pretty damn awesome we're so close to phase two guys I can't wait because I, I could taste it. I want to build some really nice stuff. I've kind of come up with a design a little bit in my head of what I want the main system to be because we're going to be supporting many train lines. I'm basically going to be using a ton of trains. I don't know if there's a limit on trains, guys. If there is, please stop me in my tracks. Pun intended. And, uh, and let me know. But I would like to build an extravagant train system. Like one train... For each different type of resource, it picks up its uh, complete resource, like iron ingots or copper ingots, you know, that type of deal. And then brings it to different locations where it's needed, uh, with like an overflow of a storage. Oh my god, it's going to be so awesome. That's why I'm mostly flying through this stuff. But uh, at least practicing at the same time. Like, look at this. It resembles a building, right? It doesn't completely have walls, but uh, whatever. Ah, you know what we can do, guys? We gotta spend some tickets here. We got some tickets for the spending. Here we go. We have 21 tickets sitting there for us. Let's go and slide that into our inventory. And we actually need to build ourselves a awesome shop over here. We don't have one. Here we go. Maybe right. Oh, oh, we don't have any screws. Uh, well, we gotta head over there anyway, I guess. Oh, guys, there's so much stuff here. We have conveyor walls. That gives us all our conveyor stuff, which make things uh, a little neater. We have tilted walls. We have door walls with, like, automatic doors. We have gates. I don't think I've ever used a gate before yet, guys. That's pretty cool. I can't wait to mess around with that. Uh, we got steel-framed windows. It doesn't show us the differences in them. Uh, but for this, we need silica and basic steel production. Okay, so we have to research. Oh, we can research that in the MAM. We're not, well, okay, we're not even to silica yet, but we'll get that unlocked at some point. So I think walls, uh, architecture here is very important. Uh, foundations, obviously very, uh, these ones, yeah, not yet. We'll get those, but stuff like the, uh, the concrete pillar set. You know what? We're going to add that to the cart right away. There we go. We have a uh, metal pillar set. Those are nice too. Uh, we have the structural frame set. Glass frame foundation. Some of that stuff probably takes stuff we actually don't have to build yet. But uh, you know what? We're, we're going to go ahead and grab that up. There we go. Look at that. We're, I think, at 15 already. It's going to take us a little while to unlock all of this stuff. And we also have the structural beam pack. You know what? That's going in the cart, too. We're at 16. Oh, we have fix-it roofs. I know we don't really need these right away, but they got to be unlocked eventually anyway. Look at that. 22 tickets. We're going to go ahead, buy all, and now we have a whole bunch of stuff unlocked. All right. We got to really crank it up with this awesome sink here soon. Holy crap. Look at this. 1,060. It, spiked up, it spikes up to, what is this? 3,412 per minute. <laughs> what is happening there? That's pretty damn crazy. Okay, uh, so let's go and check. We should have the rest of those motors done by now. And while we're over there, we'll divert that over to an awesome sink too. Just build another one up there with it. Oh, one's just coming in as we're running up and we have 15 of them. Oh, yes, more than enough. So what we're going to do, take out the storage container here and we are going to build ourselves an awesome sink. And if it turns out we don't need these here with our next tiers, 
we're just gonna be fed into this because we may as well keep this factory going and uh, get more of those tickets so we can unlock some very very valuable things all right let's get that hooked up there we go even before that reached it here now let's see that pop in from 42 to 45 so that's a whopping three percent per item nice okay guys let's go get this done there we go seven into the storage container and they'll work their way up the belt here and we'll be able to launch that off to space and unlock some more tiers for us exciting stuff and keep moving along look how big our factory stuff is already we've got a factory here for storage we got a factory over there which is actually just a giant um awesome sink factory at this point because we're going to be done our uh, phase two which does say complete and then we have our coal stuff up that way so maybe hopefully we'll be moving on to oil sooner than later with this so let's go ahead seal that off and we will send this up to space so as it turns out this game is going to be getting a storyline by the time it's finished guys which is pretty exciting now i do hear the thing where i get close to those uh weird objects and it says to collect them uh because it's chaos on earth something is happening so it's going to be real cool when there's a storyline for all this all right, so we got uh, objective complete phase three. Ooh, damn, we're gonna need 2,500 of those structural frames. So we gotta actually now stop putting those into the awesome sink and save them. And then we have two new items, which I have no idea what those are. Either the icons changed or those are brand new items. So this is really super exciting. I'm gonna go and uh, cut off the uh, awesome sink from the frames and we'll go and check out what tears we unlocked guys there we go all i have to do is take the belt out just like that you know what i can also take out this awesome sink now i think oh no 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 the plates and stuff are still going into it okay here we are tier five already guys we're moving up real fast and the first thing like i mentioned oil processing so we are 100 percent going to select this milestone here and it gives us the next objective of building ourselves some motors so what we'll might do here is add a Oh, we'll just extend out. We'll extend out our storage facility here and build a part or an area that makes motors for us and we'll store them. Pretty damn cool. So we're going to select that, of course, as our next milestone. And that gives us lots. we got the oil extractor, refinery. Uh, we have fuel. It can be used to generate power. Package to be used as fuel for vehicles or the jetpack. Uh, we have petroleum coke. Circuit boards, sp a scanner update, crude oil, so we can find crude oil, unlock some shop products for us. And holy crap, guys, this, this does unlock a lot of stuff for us here. And then next, we have industrial manufacturing, which gives us a manufacturer, which has four inputs. Stuff is going to get real complicated real soon. Oh, and here's what we need to make. So we need to make modular engines. So we're obviously going to need oil for this. So oil is our next step, 100%. And we need adaptive control units. Okay. Crazy stuff. And then we got uh, alternative fluid transport. So we can pack oil here in containers and ship it back here on conveyor belts and containers. I think you can do or in vehicles or in trains, guys. So I wonder what's in tier six here. Tier six, do we get trains yet? Monorail, monorail, <laughs> monorail train technology. Here it is, guys. Look at this. This is stuff I haven't seen either. Block signals, path signals, apparently signaling works now. I have a whole lot of learning to do. This is very, very exciting things. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, though. So, next objective, then, obviously, is oil processing. Well, guys, I'm going to call this episode here very, very successful. We got everything done. So, we got uh, phase two complete. We're moving on to phase three with oil next episode and uh, eventually oil power too, uh, which is real exciting. We can get off our reliance of coal power and use that coal to up our steel uh, f uh, factories, right? Like, I can put a whole steel factory up there and then have the end product put onto a train, right? Isn't that damn cool? Uh, so we can start our modular stuff. 
as long as we keep unlocking stuff at a really good rate. So if you guys did like that video, please do hit the like button for me. It's much appreciated. Let me know how you're doing down in the comments. I like hearing from you guys every once in a while. And uh, if you want to support me, you can watch a ad at the beginning or at the end of the video if you wish. And uh, I've not been running mid-ads, by the way, guys. It's nice not having that crazy financial pressure to do so. I can just create content as I wish and not spam you guys with the ads. Anyways, guys. See you in the next one. Stay classy. Do you want?